up and running, no time to waste. Let's start our program on how to calculate the hypotenuse. And what we want to design is some sort of a program where we have a character like a kitty cat and the cat's going to um, ask us some questions about the legs of the triangle, like A and leg B, and then it's going to have um, a time to think and then calculate what the hypotenuse is. So let's start this. First thing, we're going to go to the bottom of the screen here, left side, and we're going to click stage. And that's going to allow us to create a background. We need a triangle first. So we will now go to the top here and we're not going to click script. We're going to click backdrop. That means the background. We want to make a triangle background. So we'll go to the line feature. I'm going to make the line a little bit thicker. So I go to the bottom here. I'm going to go like this, make a really quick sketch. Doesn't have to be perfect, um, but we're going to make something that looks like a 90 degree triangle. And that looks pretty good. We can erase the extra tips that are protruding. And now we're going to have to label it. So let's label this the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is C. So let's, let's go ahead and center that C. Now on the bottom here, we're going to click and we're going to write, let's click a little lower. Let's go leg B. And this one here is going to be leg A. Now I can move these a little bit by clicking the hand feature. I can highlight this or circle it. Let's move it down a bit. We can grab this one and move it a little bit. And hypotenuse is off in space, so we're going to catch him. Let's try that again. We're going to catch him like this and we'll move them closer to the triangle. Now I want to make some room for my cat. So right now it's sort of in the middle, it's in the way. So I'm going to highlight all of this and I'm going to drag it to the far right side. Let my cat hang out on the left side. And that, that's it. We've, we've created our triangle. It's a right angle triangle. Well, it looks like, a, I mean, it's close enough. And now I'm done the background. Now I want to focus all my attention on the kitty cat. He's going to be my sprite. That's a fancy way of saying the character for this program. So there's two ways to activate him. Number one, you can click on the bottom left side here. You can just literally just click it and it activates him. Or you can just click him on the screen and that activates him too. And I want to move him a little bit over here so he has some space to talk and think. Now, I want to create a script for him. I want him to say stuff and do stuff. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back up here, follow my cursor. It's going to the script. And I want him to say stuff. And I want him to know what I'm, what, what I'm going to tell him to do. So he need, we need to go in the sensing area. So in the sensing area, we're going to have him ask two questions. And with those two questions, we need two answers. So I'm going to drag them out. The first question that I want him to ask me and you is what is the value of leg A? Question mark. And then you will type in an answer and it will detect the answer where the answer is, where the answer key is. Now here I'm going to have him say what is the answer, oh, what is the value of leg B question mark and then you will type in the answer and it will identify what you're writing but I need to set some variables here because they there's some unknown values that I need to um, find values for so I'm gonna go to the data section over here it's the orange one I'll click it and I need to make three variables I need to make an a B and a C so really quickly make type a go back make a variable type B and then go back and make a variable type C. Now we've got them there, A, B, C. So what we want to do is we want to bring out a set because we want to set A to what? What do we want to set A to? Well, this leg A here, we want to set it to the answer you type in, right? It's asking you what is the value of leg A. You're going to type an answer and we want it to link it to A. So the computer now will say, okay, I'm setting A to the answer that you type in. Whatever you type in is going to become A. That's essentially what it's saying. Then it's going to ask, what is the value of leg B? And it's going to wait for you to type a response. And then we want to set B to the answer. So we'll click here, this menu, we'll go to B and the answer will be plugged in as B. It's a, it's a um, substitution type deal. This is algebra now. We're, we're, we're kicking in. 
And then we want one last thing. We want to set C. Okay, we want to set C, the hypotenuse, to what? It's going to be set to a calculation, right? How do we get the hypotenuse? It's A squared plus B squared and then square root that answer. So we'll go, we have to do some math. So out of all these functions, all these options here, operators is the math department. And we need to get some, we need to make A squared. So we'll pull out the multiplication. We'll go back to data and we'll pull out two A's. There, A times A is A squared. But I need now B squared. So I'll go back to the math. I'll pull out that multiplication thing again. And then I'll go back to data and I'll pull out my B. And now the computer will do B times B, which is B squared. And then I need to add A squared with B squared. So I'll go back to the math and I'll pull out the addition one. And the addition one, can I make this bigger? I can make that side bigger. The addition one is right here. And then I'll put it, put the A squared in the first blank. And then I'll put the B squared in the second blank. And you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to square root that sucker. So I'm going to pull out the square roots at the bottom here. It says square root of nine. I don't want nine. I want square root of all this, this over here. So now it will do a calculation. And I want to set C. See what it says here, A, B, C. I want to set C to that. That's what I want to be C. So I'll plug it here. Instead of that zero, I'm going to plug all that in there. And now the computer knows what to set. Okay, so let's test it out. I'm going to drag my A over here. I'm going to drag my B over there. And I'll drag my C over here just to kind of link it more directly to the triangle. It doesn't really make a difference in the answers, but it just looks better. It looks more organized. So now, what are we going to say here? We want this whole thing to begin and the cat to start speaking. So I got to click the flag. But if you notice, nothing's happening, right? That's because the computer doesn't know what to do when I click the flag. So I need to tell it what to do. I'm going to go to events. Clicking a flag is an event. I'm going to, when the flag is clicked, I'm going to hook it on first thing. Now the computer knows when I click the flag, it's going to start doing all this stuff. So now let's click the flag. It says, what is the value of leg A? I'm going to type, well, three, four, five work nicely. If leg A is three, leg B is four, leg or hypotenuse C should be five. So those are nice numbers to work with. So here I'm going to type, Three, you see the three on the screen there? I'm gonna click enter. Now look what happens over here when I click enter. Oops, let me do that again. There, it plugs in as three. That's pretty cool. And then it's the cat starts saying, what is the value of leg B? It's doing what I'm asking it to do. That's so cool. So I'm gonna click four. Now look what happens over here when I click enter. It goes four. But look what happened here now. It actually calculated the answer. It says five. That's perfect. The program works. But the problem is the cat's not telling me it's five. It's just, this is telling me five, which is nice. But um, if we get the cat speaking in the first place, we should have him speaking to tell us the answer as well. So let's have the cat tell us stuff. Let's go to, what are we going to go? Motion. Looks. Looks. Let's have the cat think about the answer. And then we want the cat to state the answer. So we are going to say, say, not say hello, but say the answer is. Now you're going to see there's a problem with this because look, the hypotenuse, look what happens if I just do this. The hypotenuse, the length of the hypotenuse is what I need to do now is I need to go to my variable. So go to data again. And I need to say my hypotenuse is C, right? The answer is going to be C. Whatever the computer calculates here, the square root of A squared plus B squared, that's going to be plugged in for C. So I'm going to pull C out. That's going to be my answer. I'm going to put it somewhere. Oh, there's no room to put it. I can't put it there. It doesn't hook on. I mean, I, this, I can't put it here because it's seconds. So you know what I need to do? There's something in the operator section that allows you to join two types of statements. It says, hello world. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put C here in the second blank. The highlight. There we go. Perfect. And in the first blank, I don't want it to say hello. I want it to say the length of the hypotenuse. So I'm going to take all this. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to stick it in here like that. And then I'll put all that in this blank. And now look what it says. The cat's going to think, hmm, for two seconds. 
and then it's going to say the length of the hypotenuse is C, but I know C is going to be just that number it calculated. So it's, I think it's pretty good now, right? Right? Okay, let's do this. What is the value of A? We're going to put 3. B is going to be... Uh, wait, let's choose different. Hold on a second. Because I want to show you what, what this problem is here. Look. You know what another problem is actually before I even get to that? Is when I click that flag again and the cat starts speaking, those old numbers are still inputted here. I don't want them to be there. I want them to disappear. I can create a pro, I can put that as part of the program. Here's what I do. I take all this off. As soon as I click that flag, I want all the numbers to reset. So you know how to do that? I go to data and I go set. I want to set three variables to nothing. Not to zero, I want them to be blank. Take this out and take that out. And then I want to hook all this on and have the cat start doing stuff. So look what happens now. Look at all these three numbers. As soon as I click the flag, boom. Oh, wait, what happened there? Oh, look, I forgot to do something. It only set C to blank. Set C to blank. I don't want that. I want A to blank. I want B to blank. And I want C. So now look what happens to these two numbers now when I click the flag. And they are gone. Effectively gone. Now the cat starts talking. Look, I'm going to go three, enter, four, Enter now keep your eye on this one. Here's the problem. I don't know what happened there. Let's do this. Let's go four and Look here the cat's saying hmm, but the answer is already there. Do you catch that? I don't like that because that's I mean that's kind of kind of weird how the answer is all is being Released before the cat even says it so you know what that means is We need to have the computer do calculations at the very end So we want the thinking to come first so we want the cat first to think, so we need to detach this stuff. Think and then have it do calculations and say the answer like this. Let's test it out now. Very nice. All these have been erased. I don't know what happened here. How come this? Oh, there we go. I need that C back. Oh, well, this is good enough. So now let's plug the number. We're going to put three, enter, four. Hmm, and here it's blank. Perfect. Then the five comes out. Hypotenuse is five. That is perfect. And the program is done. We've created our first program and having a cat calculate the square root of a triangle. I can make it more interesting if I go to sounds and have the cat say, for example, meow when it says the answer. And so if I go like this and I click this here. Now, the reason I did this is because why I flipped the order around, because look at this. It says the length of the hypotenuse is C for two seconds is going to say that. And after it's done talking and saying those two seconds that the answer is, you know, whatever. Actually, let's even make it longer. Let's say 12 seconds. Have it say for 12 seconds. Then it will say meow if I put it at the end, if I go like this. So what it'll do is it'll say the hypotenuse is, you have to count to 12, and then it'll go meow. I don't want that. I want the meow to come first. And then have it say the hypotenuse is. Watch. Let's plug other numbers in. Let's plug like 5 for A. Let's put like 6. And then it's going to say, hmm. And then it's going to flash the answer. You heard that? That's pretty cool. Let's do it again. Let's plug other numbers in. And yeah, you notice those were decimals because it can calculate even to the decimal point. That's pretty, pretty crazy. So let's plug in like 8 for A. Let's plug in. Now, I won't talk. I'll just let you watch. Perfect. And that's the program. You guys have been great. Thanks for joining me in the hypotenuse coding lesson. I wish you guys have a great day and happy coding.